we implemented a combination of Sage 300 ERP as well as Edisoft's merchant application uh, and Acellos WMS. And the key to choosing those three uh, solutions was really the integration that it offered. Um, the benefit is obvious. The integration allowed us to cut down on any rekeying that was previously required um, and made us more efficient ensure the data accuracy as well as the compliance to our trading partners. We switched over to WMS and Edisoft uh, live uh, at the end of May. Um, so here we are in July, two, three months later, and we're already seeing the, the, the paybacks. I, to be honest with you, I expected the paybacks to, to, to take longer, um, but uh, the efficiencies seem to be happening immediately because we were manually entering EDI orders in the past and we were uh, you know, we were involved with the 3PL, so we had to communicate uh, with them uh, on warehousing operations. So we've got a, a, an immediate payback. Um, I expect that to, to increase over time, especially as our company evolves. Our business basically has moved from five years ago, 10% EDI type customers, and we anticipate that within five to six years, we'll be 80% EDI business. Um, and that means our business is focusing to a majors model and in talking about omni-channel, uh, the majority of our business or a large part of our US-based business where we fulfill out of a 3PL is to companies like uh, the Zappos and Nordstrom's, Zappos owns by, owned by Amazon. Um, and in Canada, we're HBC, which now owns Saks, or sorry, yeah, Saks Fifth Avenue. So Saks is coming to Canada in a big way, as, as well as Nordstrom's. So we have to be able to do business. We have to be able to meet those challenges. If we don't, we won't be in business because the independent, smaller market is shrinking. So our, our survival of a, as a business depends on getting in the EDI game. And we came to uh, Summit last year with, without an ERP system, shopped around for an ERP system, decided on Sage 300, and uh, after talking to several vendors on the EDI front, we ended up with uh, Edisoft as a complete solution for the integration. Ten years ago when I looked at EDI, I said this is nothing more than a cost transference from our major trading partners, our, our customers, to us on the EDI side. I, I have to say that in the last six months or a year, I can now see some great uh, savings, 50% savings in my AR uh, clerk role. Customer service, I've got about a 20% uh, time savings, and, uh, and product managers about a 20%, and that's only growing as we, as we uh, increase our percentage of EDI type of customers that we're doing work with. So I'm getting paybacks now that, that I, I certainly appreciate as a finance guy, and in the error factor too, the, the error factors are reduced. One of the biggest benefits of the integration with the RP was the lack of uh, rekeying requirements. Uh, both within the ERP as well as flowing through the WMS. So completely integrated, we were able to take that workload off our existing staff uh, that were previously rekeying and obviously reallocate those resources to higher value add um, undertakings, if you will. Uh, not only that, in terms of the time and cost savings, there's also the, um, the added benefit that the, the process allowed, which is the speed at which we could fulfill orders, opened up some additional opportunities um, there are a number of, of retailers now that will insist on you doing certain things uh, such as uh, supporting their B2C business, uh, which prior to having the fully integrated EDI solution uh, is often cost prohibitive. Um, you know, you're shipping single or, or very small unit volumes per order, uh, and yet your cost per order is often the same as it is for larger orders prior to the integration. So that's opened up some opportunities for us uh, that we may not have been able to capitalize on without the integration. We also have a 3PL out of the U.S. that we're doing business with. So Edisoft was able to come up with a solution using a 940, which was a, a warehouse a directive document, and a combination of that with the 945 that would provide the direction to our 3PL warehouse on what to ship, who to ship it to, et cetera. Um, and they could respond back to us using a 945 document that was fully integrated. We didn't have to do any rekeying on our end. Uh, the data would flow directly into Sage 300, which is the RPO we are using. Um, the integrity of the data because of the integration, um, it, it's guaranteed. You're not handling it. There's no risk of keying errors. So from the receipt of the PO through to the 
the issuing of the ASN and the invoice, we don't have manual manipulation any longer that we used to require. Uh, so the risk of there being an error is, I won't say it's impossible, but it's almost non-existent. To do an order, whether it's brick and mortar, uh, through the integrated Acelos, uh EDI, Sage systems, is uh, it's seamless, whether it's brick and mortar or B2C type of business. Um, the benefit, obviously, is the speed that you're able to do it at and at the reduced cost. Um, so it allows you to do that B2C e-commerce type business, um, but from, a, from an employee standpoint on the floor in the warehouse or processing EDI, or as Scott mentioned, even with the accounting side of it, they're one and the same. There's a number of options out there that don't have seamless integration. You know, they'll have some means of doing it, I'll say, but it's not necessarily seamless. Uh, that was one of the greatest benefits with Edisoft that when we looked at them. Um, in addition to that, it's something that is scalable and flexible. There are a number of packages out there, if you will, that can be customized to do what you want. Uh, in our experience with Edisoft, it's not a matter of customization, it's configuration. Uh, so you do have the flexibility to meet your current needs as well as scalability for any future growth. Uh, to add, just to add a bit to that, to add an additional trading partner to EDI through the Edisoft merchant application, um, Edisoft has a combination of ways of doing that, but they have templates available that are pre-configured, pre-tested um, for the majority of trading partners you can think of, and if it's not there, they'll come up with it. And, uh, and so it's a very easy and quick process to add an additional trading partner. So if you pick up some additional business, uh, there isn't a major delay in being up and running with them.